good morning. <laughs> you know, the first thing I did when I came to the computer this morning, <laughs> coming out of the meditation room, is to check and see where Elephant Gun was in the contest between them and the Zebedee Rays from the United Kingdom. And Elephant Gun was still in first place at, at that time, but I just checked just a, mo a minute or two ago, and Zebedee Rays have retaken the lead. And I suspect it will go back and forth until the contest ends. Uh, tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, because I'm on the East Coast, that's the time I'm concerned about. So I know that's when the voting ends for me. Of course, I, you can only vote once a day. But I do keep encouraging people on Facebook and my Facebook friends and my YouTube friends to please vote. Please vote. This has been such a dream for my son and his friends. And their band is really a, a, a good band. Not that Zebedee raise or not. That's not what I'm saying. But of course, I am biased toward my son, and I'm asking for your, for your help in voting, and for you to encourage your friends to vote. And I'd really appreciate that before I even start on today's video. <laughs> and I will post the link for voting. Uh, even on YouTube, I'll put it in in the. Even though it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, I will put it there for people to vote uh, at the bottom of the description of today's video. In YouTube. Anyway, getting on to today's video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the title is The Ninth Wave Security in a Time of Upheaval. And as I came out of the meditation room, I had no clear uh, leading of what I was supposed to talk about today. I had several directions that I felt I could go. And after I checked the voting, I checked uh, not all of my email, but some of my email. And one of the things that came was a quotation by Helen Keller, which sealed what the subject was going to be about today. She, she said, security is mostly superstition. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. To keep our faces toward change and behave like free spirits in the presence of fate is strength undefeatable. What a beautiful saying. What a beautiful quotation. Indeed, we as humans would like security. I would like to be safe within my own home, knowing that nobody's going to take it away from me, knowing that no one's even going to be threatening to take it away from me. I would like that very, very much. I would like to maintain a certain level of constancy in the world and in my life, because it's easier to deal with, less stressful. <laughs> Less, I would be less on edge. It's less of a roller coaster ride. But folks, it's not our reality. And especially at this time in the ninth wave, when everything is tur being turned inside out and upside down. This is the time that we have waited for. And there is not going to be anything that's going to seem secure, except those of us who go inward and hear the voice of spirit with inside reminding us you are my son you are my daughter eternal forever you are mine I am yours we are one those that can go inside and hear that voice of spirit hear that voice of the Creator speaking within you within your heart within your mind, within your being. There is security in that. But as far as the events and circumstances in our day-to-day -day lives, 
I don't think we're going to find a lot of security from here on out through this ninth wave and maybe even going a little bit beyond the ninth wave as we move into 2012 next year and as the kingdom of heaven takes substantive root upon the earth we're not going to find everything stable because there's still going to be a lot of changes even after the ninth wave ends at least that's the way I see it I don't see October 28 2011 as being click all of a sudden we move completely out of darkness and completely into light first of all I don't think we're ever going to move completely out of darkness although we will be moving out of ignorance and that is happening and the balance of power is shifting and continues to shift as we reach I believe we've already reached critical mass I think we've already gone beyond the tipping point although that catalyzing event still has not occurred I expect it to occur sometime between now and October 28th I don't know exactly what it's going to be but it will be something that will shift forever well at, at least for the next lengthy period <laughs> it will shift the paradigm and the perspective of most humans upon this planet that which we have deemed evil in the Illuminati and in those that are trying to create and have been trying to create a one world order of domination they will no longer be able to to exercise that power there will be justice that will come to the courts to the corporations to the governments to the people and I don't know again I don't know what that's going to be one of the things that I thought about was was of course the Republic and what's happening in the Republic here in Florida and, and across the country you know folks I think the Republic is something that has to be in our hearts first and for those that just see it as another organization I think they're missing the boat it's not about organization it's about organism it's about that it's about finding that security within our own being that's really what it's about the Republic has to exist there and it can't exist in the world until it exists in the human heart and the human heart that is still trying to seek to maintain the status quo and seek to make to create a life where there's nothing that changes where everything remains the same we are what we are till the day that we die and nothing really changes well everything is really changing folks and that is the reality we may want to build the other world there may be those that want to control everything and everybody around them because that's the only way they could feel secure but I'm telling you you're not going to be able to do it I don't care whether you're working on the light side as a light worker or on the dark side as a light worker and we're all light workers folks we wouldn't be here if we weren't light workers let's get it straight that God works everything after the counsel of his own will and again I say he and I do not mean he I just don't like calling God it he and she work everything after the counsel of their own will God said let us make man in our own image and let us give man dominion over the earth and we have had dominion and we have abused that dominion and there's not going to be security as long as the abuse continues but wisdom is coming and wisdom is Sophia she is here now the divine feminine is here now the goddess energy is here now to balance out this this overemphasis on patriarchal ideas and the patriarchal culture and systems that have been generated for the last at least the last several millennia folks that's changing and it's going the changes are going to continue to accelerate and continue to be accentuated okay there's going to be a lot of emphasis on the changes because this is about the shift of the ages it's about the change from an old world order to a new world order and yes there is going to be a new world order it's inevitable folks the only question has ever been will it be the new world order of those who wish to dominate the rest of humanity or will it be a new world order of freedom I think you know the answer or you wouldn't be listening to this 
if you if you're listening and you think it's the, gonna be the one of domination oh boy are you in for a rude awakening because freedom is blossoming like a flower everywhere it's coming out of its cocoon like a butterfly everywhere everywhere folks this is happening all over. This is the time of quantum change, quantum shift, and there is not going to be security for anyone that is trying hard to hang on to the old ways. The old ways are going down the tube. YouTube and Facebook and the networking around the world are bringing these changes into focus for literally hundreds of thousands and probably millions of people. It's not the majority of the folks on the earth. I'm not going to even pretend that, it, that it's an absolute numerical majority. We're far from that. But the tipping point was desc as described, uh, what was his name, Scott Mowry. The tipping point he said is, what did he say? 70,000 people on the planet to reach the tipping point. Uh, and I've heard, of course, the critical mass is, is the square root of 1% of the world's population, which is a number considerably smaller than 70,000, which we've certainly exceeded in my estimation. In any case, we're in the midst of huge, huge changes, and we're not going to find security except, except as spiritual beings going within our hearts and within our souls and finding that security that can never be shaken, the security of knowing that we are infinite and eternal beings without beginning and without end. We were never born, therefore we can never die. And this shell, this, this space suit that we call our human bodies is simply a way that our eternal souls, that our infinite soul experiences itself in a physical reality and that physical reality as I keep on saying is changing 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 very fast even our very bodies are being mutated our DNA is being activated this is happening folks this is consciousness Co everything is coming into consciousness so that we can co-create the world that is written in our hearts, the city that is written in our hearts by the hand of God and has been there all along. We've always been in the Republic, folks. We've always been in the Kingdom of Heaven, but we didn't know it. Therefore, we didn't experience it. You have to consciously accept the fact before you can experience the reality. And that's the process that's going on in this ninth wave in the evolution of consciousness. I love you, folks, and thank you for listening and again those of you that will I really appreciate your vote for my son and his band Elephant Gun I really appreciate that and I'm going to leave you on that note Namaste and God bless you <laughs>